Single-use plastics are plastics that are used once and then tossed. Some of the most common examples are things like straws, plastic bags, coffee cups, utensils. And then there's also a lot of other things that we don't always think about, like food packaging, for example. There's a lot of foods that are packaged in plastic, and we don't even notice it anymore because it's just everywhere. Plastics were designed to be lightweight and to last forever. And so this is really a problem because oftentimes, rather than being recycled or going to a landfill to be disposed of properly, they get blown away in the wind. And so they'll end up in our waterways and all waterways lead to the ocean. And once they reach the ocean, plastics aren't able to actually biodegrade, they photodegrade. So rather than breaking down naturally, they break down from the sun into smaller and smaller pieces, but never actually go away and then they are either consumed by wildlife or wildlife get entangled in them, and it can cause some really serious problems for our oceans. If you want to help these species in the wild, recycling and properly disposing of your trash is a great place to start. But if you're looking for a way to take this a step further, refusing single-use plastics is a really great step. Unfortunately, most plastics can't actually be fully recycled. So whereas something like a aluminum can can be 100% recycled into a new aluminum can, something like a yogurt cup will not be able to become a new yogurt cup. It's going to be downcycled into something like a park bench or maybe even a sweater. And that's a great way to keep products out of our landfills, but unfortunately, it doesn't decrease the demand for new plastic products. So by refusing these items before we consume them, we're able to reduce the demand and therefore reduce our impact on the planet even more. To decrease our environmental footprint, staff here at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium have taken up a Plastic Free July challenge. This is a one month challenge to refuse and reduce single use plastics in our everyday lives. So staff are doing things like asking for no straw when they order a drink or carrying reusable shopping bags with them when they're out and about. They can also do things like carry reusable utensils in their bags so they don't have to take disposable ones, and purchasing items with the least amount of packaging whenever possible. You can help too. Challenge yourself. Try refusing single-use plastics and invite your friends and your family to join you in this movement so we can really make a difference for species in the wild. Thanks for watching and tune in next time to learn more ways that you can help save the planet at home.